How's it going guys? Welcome back to the site. I'm here with Lars from Skate With Power. And today we're gonna bust out a couple just simple basic passing drills and a couple basic back and a couple basic passing tips. So passing is not a, a drill you see often shared on Instagram or stuff like that, but it's a pretty integral part of the game, would you say? Absolutely. You gotta be able to pass and I think it's one of those foundation movements and, and plays that we skip over lots of the time in player development. So I'm just gonna start and give you guys one quick tip and make sure that when we're working on those passes, that we get those hands off our body, right? You'll see a lot of young kids, they'll have that hand attached to their hip and they won't be able to get any power behind that pass. So let's get those hands out off our body and make sure that bottom hand especially is in a place where it can follow through to our target, all right? So that's a couple things we're gonna work on. Lars, anything? Biggest thing right there is just, you saw that Matt's body was facing you guys. We want to make sure we're able to pass when we're square to where we're passing. Lots of the time in a game situation, you're moving forwards, you're passing in stride. We're not always standing stationary, passing side to side. So it's important that you get square with your partner if you're working on stationary passing, moving with your, your body facing your partner, right? All right, so a couple things to focus on when looking to make a good pass. First of all, making sure that we're following through to our target. We got those hands off our body and then making sure that we're meeting the puck where we want to catch it and not waiting for it to come to us, all right? So once we meet that puck, we can then cushion it, set it in a good prepared position, and then make a pass back to my partner, my teammate, or set ourselves up for a good shot on net. So one thing we want to focus on as well, this is pretty, everybody knows this, passing the puck hard, right? We got to move the puck hard in the game because if we don't, it's going to get intercepted, the play's going to slow down, all those things. So make sure we're moving that puck hard. Do you have any tips on receiving the puck? Make sure you're cushioning the puck. And one of the problems we see is players get older and higher levels, obviously the passes are coming a lot harder, is that their blade is open and it stays open too long. Okay, so if your blade's like this, you've got to make sure that you close it and cup it. Okay, because otherwise the puck is just going to bounce off or it's going to flip up in the air, it's harder to control. So you're here cushioning that puck. Again, we talked about making sure your hands are away from your body which allows you to cushion, right, and release. Ideally taking out any need for stick handling, right, we wanna be able to move that puck nice and quickly. All right, now this time around, we're gonna fire that puck a little bit harder and really focus on the things Lars was talking about. Making sure we have that blade closed, make sure we're cushioning the puck, and make sure, like I said before, we're meeting that puck where we would like to receive it, all right? So, one thing I will mention, when I'm picking up that puck, Let's not cushion it so far back into our stance like you can see I'm doing here. Let's try to have it between the middle of my skate to the back of my heel. That's going to leave us in a better place to make a play. All right, We don't want to have to bring that puck way back and then make a play from a bad position with the puck behind our body. And I also think it goes without being said that where's our head going to be? The head's going to be up, right? We have to find our target, look at our target, deliver that puck to our target. You see a lot of kids, especially starting out, their head's going to be down, they're going to panic, and it's just going to be that flip, get it away from me, give somebody a bad pass. So yeah. head up, find that target, make a good pass.